I went to Cuddy's place to deliver the scepter, but Cuddy wasn't there. He'd been arrested by the Hammerites. Apparently, they didn't approve of his occupation, and I doubt they approve of mine. So, hopefully, they'll never catch sight of me when I break him out of their prison. Which is what I'm going to do. They're holding Cuddy in a mining complex carved out of a quarry. The quarry's flooded, but the hammers still work the top-level mines, and have converted part of the complex into a penitentiary for those who violate their tenants. An associate of mine was confined there and has provided me with a map. It would be difficult to get in by way of the main gate, but there is another option. The mines break the surface of a hill south of the quarry. I'll drop into the mines and head for the prison, which will be found somewhere uphill and to the north. The hammers don't venture into these lower mine levels because they're reputed to be haunted. I'd rather not have to do this job, but Cuddy's a reliable fence and I don't appreciate the hammerites abducting him. And he owes me money for the Bafford job. And now it's time for a break from Clarike's Cleft Prison. This is our chance to really check out what kind of people the Hammers are. If you if you didn't already kind of guess what sort of people they are from that cutscene right there. Let's see. We need to make our way to the prisoners, which just kind of happens on its own. We need to help out Cuddy, break him out. To get, we need to help out Bass with a box man because we want his sister. Mm, ah, I'm, I'm curious to see how that will turn out in the course of the game. I'm sure that this relationship between Garrett and Bass with a box man's sister will have a very interesting plot thread, will it not? Yes, indeed. A sit, a sight. I don't know the beggar borrowed our lucky hand of glory and hit it somewhere. So we've got to get it back. I guess he 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 put it up his ass to hide it. <laughs> okay, so somewhere w when Garrett's running away from the ha from the hammerites and from the guards, unbeknownst to us, the player in his back pocket is his lucky hand of glory, which still reeks of a beggar's anus. There's bound to be some pricey religious icons, cause the hammerites are like. Well, they're kind of like Inquisition time Catholics, I suppose. That's kind of how I always imagine them to be anyway. So, they're very rich and very strict. We're going to get a thousand worth of their stuff. And we need to get out of prison with Cuddy and Basso. Presumably, we're going to put Cuddy in our left pocket and ba Basso in our right. And we don't leave a mess. Ha ha ha. Well, we're not going to kill anyone, but we are going to leave a mess. You will see. You will see. Let's see. Let's get us a tip, and a hot tip. Not sure exactly what the difference is. Oh, uh, there's an informa little info about the haunted mines. Yeah, and some information about where Cuddy's being kept. Well, I could find all this out on my own, but I'll buy these out just to check them. I'll buy these out just to check them. I'll buy these just to check them out. And we'll get some health potions. Speed potions is almost pointless because you can jump. I can just jump faster than pretty much everything. I want water arrows because, with there being so many undead in this level, uh, if we happen upon any holy water, that'll be very helpful. You'll see. And let's begin. Ah, uh, such a beautiful level. Another day mission. This is like the only mission in the game that truly takes place in the day, aside from the training level. Kind of a neat mines here. Well, let's go ahead and get our feet wet. It's a good thing that Garrett isn't wearing big ol' robes or anything, because then he'd probably get weighed down and drowned. <laughs> but luckily, he's he takes a lot of care to dress very light. I actually really like the way these mines are designed in general, even if they are kind of minimalist. They're minimalist because uh, it's just the way it's got to be. But look at how this this one texture, which is kind of gravelly, kind of fades into this sand for a bit. I wonder why they did that. I have no clue. But uh, see, the mix, the mix of textures here from this kind of rocky texture to this uh, wooden texture here, and then back to kind of a rocky texture. That might seem like it's just kind of crazy, but in ways, little bits of textures mixed in with each other here and there kind of add something. 
it allows a little bit of subtlety that otherwise you wouldn't be able to get with such limited uh with such limited graphics ah get up there Garrett come on you can do it there we go I'm not sure if this is a true zombie or not nope it's not just kind of a glimpse of what's to come there you got, you got a little picture of him carrying a corpse and he's got his nose practically buried in its rotten hip he's he's apparently not too bothered by that I think it'd be pretty disgusting <laughs> oh well now one nice thing is with our water arrows we can disperse bug clouds like this uh Okay, well, I guess we can't in this game. That comes along in Thief 2, I suppose. Huh. Joke's on me, I guess. Let's see what's around here. I didn't check my map in previous in the previous game, did I? Previous level, that is. Well, it's not much of a map to go by anyway. This could be kind of helpful, but, eh. I'd rather just find my way around, really. Because... Most part, these are just as conf more confusing than they are truly helpful. I mean, what's the difference? If I knew I was here, you know, I'd have to go to here and go to the yard and see that where the numbers are anyway. So, eh, whatever. I'll figure it out. Maybe a lot of loading and editing involved, but that's just the way th things go. Okay, we want to go to the factory, but first of all, I want to see what's down here. Been a long time since I played this one. There's a lot of hanging lights that are still functioning for some reason. Very crunchy gravel. That uh, the gravel like this is just as loud to the AI's ears as like a uh, tile or metal would be. So it's the loudest kind of floor you can walk on. Oh, yeah, I was right here. All right. I'm surprised that they even were able to put in these supports all over the place. Because that can really increase the polygon limits in the game pretty fast. Oh, those spiders. This isn't the first time we've seen spiders, but I think this is the first time we've seen big spiders. Where's the button down? Here we go. We can't go up from here. We can't go up at all from here. Huh. That guy doesn't count towards our kill limit. Neither do any of the zombies. Because that's what he meant by being haunted. He meant zombies. Which is funny to me, because personally, when I think haunted, I think ghosts. I don't think zombies... How do I get up from here? Do I get rope arrows? No, not yet. But clearly, there's no button to take me up from here. But I shouldn't be screwed. Ooh, moss arrow. Nice. Well, I like how this kind of... Everything's kind of crooked here, but... What the heck? How do I get out? How do I get out of here? Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> I just began the level and I'm already stuck. This is crazy. Huh. Strange. There's gotta be something here. Come on. What the? Oh, okay. There is something. There are button objects that are stuck inside of this little metal brush here, so I couldn't even see what they were. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. That kind of threw me for a loop there. I'm like, what? I know that you couldn't get stuck down here. Now, to go up, we'll have to find another way up and around, because we can't take the elevator up that high. Again, very cl very clever level design there. Forcing you to find your way up on your own and then allowing you an easy way down. It's a good idea. This guy's a real zombie. And he'll get up as we if we get too close. Like I did. Come at me, bro. No. Actually these are kind of cool models with their with their spines sticking out and their brains. Come on! What's this? Why is there just a piece of wood just sticking on there? Must have fallen from somewhere. Whatever. I wonder if I can kill him with... Whoa! Nope. It goes right through him. Whatever. 
Another zombie. Yeah, yeah. They can't climb, so we're completely safe. No, no problemo. And I believe that hammerite guy here is not a zombie. Nope. But the other two are. Here, guys, nibble on this. Here. <clears throat> Yummy. I'm not sure why that bit of electricity stuff is there. You'd think that they would have shut off power down here, you know? Apparently, they don't really have control over that because there's a lot of places in this game where there's power to places that have been abandoned or that you'd think that there wouldn't be any power. you think that those lights would burn out, right? I mean, how long does it take a, a light, like um, an old incandescent light, old incandescent lamp to burn out? Not very long. Oh, there's a, there's a little piece of loot for us. Oh! Let's try that again. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah. EAX effects. You can hear him screaming in delicious reverberations. Come on. Oh. Shame on you, Garrett. Come on. Master thief. Oh, come on. Oh! Now, things could be said for good or bad about the platforming in this game. Personally, it's never really bothered me that much. But, uh... You know, one tends to have a little less patience when one is recording. So, we'll see how all this turns out. Also note that there are a lot more levels in this game that require crazy platforming than there are in later games. Namely, uh, Thief 2. Hmm. Should be able to get up there somehow. Maybe I need that box. Ooh, but can I go back and get it without falling? I'm not sure if that's actually what this box is for or not. That's odd, but surprising. Ah, uh, come on, don't fall. This crate, I mean. Maybe, because I could walk along here without having to do that jump. Yeah, I can just climb right up here. So it probably is what it's for. Huh. Surprising, because I could very well break that box on accident, and then I'd be screwed. Ah, there we go, Garrett. Good job. I may have been able to jump up from right there. I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh well. Whoop. I have no idea what that is. Some kind of drill or something. 